Yet another BJP ally is out of the NDA camp. This time because the BJP wanted it. On the BJP's recommendation on Sunday, Chief Minister Nitish Kumar sacked Mukesh Sahni, Bihar's self-declared son of Mallah, as the state's minister for animal husbandry and fish raids. It's not the first time that an ally has left the BJP. At least 20 parties have broken their alliance with the BJP uh, since 2014. In some cases, it was because they felt threatened by it. Say in the case of the Shiv Shena, which saw the BJP eating into its vote bank over the years. In some other cases, they were forced by their own political interests. For instance, in the Akali Dal's case, it was about their core vote bank among Jat Six, getting restless over the contentious farm laws. Similarly, the TDP fell out because it felt cornered by the YSRCP over the issue of a special status for Andhra Pradesh. Mukesh Sahni's case uh, is, however, different. It's about the BJP's approach to smaller allies. I would call it shark remera symbiotic relationship. I had heard about this relationship, but didn't know much about Remeras until I decided to drag them into our conversation. Thanks to Google Uncle, I now know some basic facts about them. Remeras are, uh, you know, the small fish which grow up to uh, three feet. They cling on to sharks and feast on the scraps or leftovers of the shark's prey. They also feed off the parasites on the shark's skin and even in the mouth according to one of the websites that I was going through. In exchange, the shark gets rid of unhealthy irritants and willingly gives a free ride to remoras uh, across the ocean. And that's why this phrase, shark remoras symbiotic relationship. Now think of the BJP as the shark and these smaller parties as remoras. The BJP would like to have a symbiotic relationship with them as long as these remoras or the smaller parties are useful and content with their role as sucker fish, you can say. But if some of them grow ambitious and start getting, getting another shark skin, the big fish can eat them up. In the case of Bihar's son of Malla, he appeared to be getting under the shark skin. You know, his Vikas seal in Sun Party VIP had fielded candidates against the BJP in the UP assembly polls. One may argue that the Jantara United did the same. Nitish Kumar's party also fielded candidates uh, against the BJP in Manipur and also in UP. And so did uh, another BJP ally, uh, Conrad uh, Sangma's MPP, National, uh, National People's Party. Again, uh, BJP leaders in Bihar argue that Sahani had committed what you they think uh, was a cardinal sin of uh, criticizing Prime Minister Narendra Modi and UP Chief Minister Yogi Aitinath. Uh, during the UP assembly election, of course. But so did the Naga People's Front, another BJP ally. And NPF leaders called Modi, quote unquote, a big liar who met the Pope at the Vatican but kept silent on the attacks on Christians in India. Yet last week, the NPF became the only former ally to rejoin the BJP led government in Manipur. You remember NPF, NPP, they were all uh, part of the Biden Singh government. But, after, but in the election, they uh, contested separately. After the elections, NPF is back in the government, despite all the criticism of the prime minister that NPF leaders did. So what was Mukesh Sahani's fault? Well, call it uh, vaulting ambitions. He wanted to spread his wings beyond UP, in UP, in, uh, beyond Bihar, in UP, Jharkhand. It didn't help his cause that he became eminently dispensable for the BJP in Bihar. Three MLAs that the VIP was left with were BJP leaders, former BJP leaders. All of them joined the BJP uh, last week. Mukesh Sahani's exit from the NDA was actually only a matter of time. This example of the, the so-called son of uh, Malla tells you what happens when Remaraj start getting under the shark's skin. I'll give you some more examples. In Manipur, uh, you know, Biren Singh was shown in as uh, Chief Minister for the second time uh, last week. Conrad Sangma's NPP was left out. The NPP was part of the Biren Singh government, as I said, but contested uh, on its own this time. 
With 32 seats in 60-member 60, 60 Manipur Assembly now, the BJP doesn't need the NPP support. The BJP can afford to snub the NPP because Conrad Sangma is heading a coalition government in Meghalaya. And his government was actually forced by Himan, Himanta Biswa Sarma. You know, uh, what a five-party coalition was uh, forced and Himanta Biswa Sarma was uh, instrumental in bringing them together. So Conrad Sangma cannot really afford to confront the BJP uh, as such. Another example in Tripura, you know, the Tripura People's Front, TPF, led by this tribal rights activist, uh, Jamatia, merged with the BJP a week ago. It, it's a kind of signal from the BJP to its coalition partner in Tripura, the Indigenous People's Front of Tripura or IPFT. Now, IPFT, the problem between IPFT and BJP is, you know, the, the tribal party joined Padyot uh, Dev Burman's Tipra Motha rally in Delhi last November to demand a kind of, you know, greater Tipra land. Now the BJP has got a tribal face in Jamatia and the IPFT must weigh its future independent of uh, the ruling party. I mean, they are still a partner of the BJP, but the signal is very clear. Now come to Assam. The BJP had dumped its ally, the Bodoland People's Front, in the Bodoland Territorial Council election in uh, 2020. The BPF had, and it happened because, you know, the B B BPF had rejected the third Bodo, Bodo Accord between the center and insurgent uh, groups. Besides, you know, the BPF was pretty assertive and the BJP was not getting much leg room uh, in that area. So the BJP opted for a new partner. The United People's Party, Liberal, that is UPPL, led by Pramod Bodo. The BPF went on to ally with the Congress in the Assembly election last year. A few weeks back, the Himanta Biswa Sarma announced that you know the B BPF has been admitted uh, as uh, the as his government's partner in the State Assembly. Ironically, the you know the BPF MLAs are now expected to vote for the BJP and UPPL Rajya Sabha candidates in this in the election let's come to maharashtra i mean the bjp's biggest ally today is the republican party of india athawale you know calling calling them the biggest is kind of ironical you know but anyway so party chief ramdas athawale has been the minister of state for social justice and empowerment since 2016 i mean at the center the rpia was given no seat in the BJP uh, by the BJP in the 2019 Lok Sabha election. In the assembly election the same year, the party was given five seats to contest, but on the BJP assembly. So for all practical purposes, the RPIA is a non-entity in Maharashtra politics now. Well, Athavle has a ministry. I mean, he is part of the government here, but that's about it. In Bihar, uh, you know, Ram Bilas Paswan's son, Chirag Paswan, he was the BJP's undeclared ally in the last assembly election. He ensured that the BJP emerged as the big brother in the uh, NDA in Bihar, tripping uh, Nitish Kumar's JDU. Now, Kumar got his revenge later. I mean, he got, he got, or he was instrumental in splitting the LJP, Chirag Paswan's party, and installing Chirag's uncle in the Modi cabinet. Chirag has been left high and dry, but he hasn't given up. You know, there's this assembly bipole happening uh, in Bocha, in Bihar, on a seat uh, that fell vacant after the death of, due to the death of a VIP MLA. Now the BJP has decided to contest there, although it was a VIP seat. So BJP is contesting there and Chirag Paswan had decided not to field any candidate, basically to support the BJP there. Well, he will get a reward from the BJP sooner or later. And he must be getting inspiration from what is happening in UP. You saw in the Yogi Aitanath, uh, Yogi Aitanath's new team, which took oath uh, last week. You know, uh, Apnadal Sonelal uh, of Anupriya Patel. Now they have got, Anupriya Patel is a minister at the center. Apnadal Sonelal has just two Lok Sabha members. One of them is a minister at the center. Now in UP, Anupriya Patel's husband, Ashish, he has now become a cabinet minister. Uh, then you look at uh, another ally, that is uh, Nishad Party. Now, Nishad Party Chief Sanjay Nishad has become a cabinet minister in the Yogi Aitanath government. 
his elder son Praveen he is a bjp mla mp from uh, sant kabir nagar and his younger son is a bjp mla from chauri chaura so they have been rewarded the moral of this story is if you are a small seemingly a uh, dispensable party behave as remaras do and your symbiotic relationship with the bjp will continue or else well ask the son of malla what happens that's all from me in this episode of politically correct thanks for watching